Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to install the GV Tracker Outback top box. I'm going to install it on a Royal Enfield Himalayan, uh, but it doesn't really matter on which one because it's a universal top box. Uh, in the owner's manual, there is not much to discuss. Uh, there's uh, small things uh, you can get optional for the top box if you want to, want to. There is a waterproof inner bag, however, the top box should be watertight um, as long as you don't put it submerge it in water there's also a backrest and all sorts things you can add onto the top box if you want to I got a smaller 42 liter one there's also a 58 liter one that's for two helmets and this one is for one helmet including some space if you want to open the top box there is a dust cap you have to remove it's a uh, it feels very plasticky it should be high quality, what is uh, what you expect from GV. It's a very sturdy lock as well, you just twist it a quarter and then you can open the top box up. It's it's a do doable with one hand, but two hands would be nice. You open it, there is a waterproof lining on here and also on the top side of the top box. And closing it, it's very simple, it feels all very sturdy, all good quality aluminium. If you want to use this top box, then you also should have a mounting plate for it. This one, you screw it onto the motorcycle and then the top box will pop onto this one. Use it with uh, four screws, five screws. It's a very simple modification to do. This part, you screw it into the motorcycle. It's a fairly simple modification to do. As you can see, there are a lot of options on where you want to mount it. It's a very simple thing to mount and I will show you now on the motorcycle. We've arrived at the bike and now we're gonna install the top box of GV. Uh, step one. This step will differ from bike to bike, but the first step from the Rory Enfield Himalayan. We're gonna remove these four screws with the key number four. Now you have four loose screws in this plate. Uh, just keep it in case you want to have to sell the bike. Uh, you can sell this bike. You can sell this with the bike. Everything we're going to use is here. We're going to use four screws for nuts, four no, guards that will place like this, and this one we will attach like this, or this or this, depending on how it will fit. Uh, to the bike. The thing you do now is I've already put, put three in it so it's uh, nice and stable so I can film for you. You put, you take your screw, you put this one through here, then you will line it up exactly that so it's centered in the middle. Then this one goes around one of the tubes, one of the round the bars at the bottom. And then the nut is going underneath it. So it's like this. Let's have a look like this. And then you have a uh, one. You have, uh, the the one yes, it's for bigger uh, racks, and a smaller one if you have smaller uh, rack if you want to. Uh, depends on what you want. Uh, you just put this like this, and then we we'll go to the other side. As you can see on the left hand side I already put it in and this is a screw that we just put in at the top. Now I'm going to use the big side and then underneath here I'm going to use a nut. Let's have a look. So the first part you can do by hand and then I will take my Allen key and put it into the top. And then you can use a 10mm spanner or a socket wrench if you want to. From the top it should something look like this. I got two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. Do make sure that these two are symmetrical to each other. Um, don't put two here and then put one here and also give the good tap 
just to make sure it's sturdy. So should something look like this at the moment. So the last part that we do is finish the rack. That's putting this plastic part on top with four small, very small screws. Four small screws. Once those four screws are into the plastic, then we can install the top box itself. Just make sure you unlock the lock itself so the top box can be placed. And this is how it should look. It really complements the bike and suits very nicely with the Royal Enfield panniers, in my opinion. Please don't forget to like and share. And if you like the video, please consider subscribing. And if you like our videos, please provide with feedback and suggestions for new videos. See you next time.